Eldar? Why would anyone want to know about those knife-eared pansy losers? Alright. For the sake of knowledge, I think the most accurate way to describe the Eldar is with a story a member of the Vostroy M355 once told me. He said, Did you know that it takes 1,000 years to train an Eldar soldier before they're sent into combat for the first time? A thousand years. And yet, all it takes is one last bolt from an Imperial Guardsman to drop him dead. And that is the perfect way to describe those pansy knife eared Eldar losers. However, for the sake of explaining it out for the Imperial citizen, the Eldar are a race of vaguely humanoid Xenos. They are tall, they are thin, they are brittle, and they tend to smell like cheap perfume, arrogance, over-entitlement, and really they're the type of people that you would never want to be caught at in a party. But for the average Imperial citizen, the Eldar are a bunch of arrogant pansy losers. They once had an empire in the stars, apparently. A few dozen worlds or something like that. But when humanity came along, we proved to them the superiority of humanity. And we put those Xenos down. So now, the handful of Eldar that are left still rail about how they are the superior species. And that they are the ultimate force in the galaxy. But in reality, the Eldar are nothing. Just a scattered remnant of a pathetic race whose time has long since passed. So remember, your average Eldar is all talk and no fight. So trust in the Imperial Guard and we'll make sure any pansy knife-eared loser Eldar doesn't stink up your segmentum any longer. <laughs>